Hello there everyone and welcome back to our Timber and Stone Let's Play. Um, we are still cruising along with our settlement here which is good and everything going pretty well. Starting to build up a little bit of a, like a little, mini, little bit of a mini keep over here just to give ourselves a little bit of a like fortification if we need to. Um, so we're going to leave a probably like we've only got sort of one level gap through here and level two is around here. I'm um, actually going to leave, we're actually going to build like a second level of wall so our guys can actually sort of walk along these and we'll sort of build that on the outside of this um, this area here. Um, we do have a road running along here, um, we'll sort of probably move that at some stage, maybe move the hall. Alright, so it looks like Henry is done, so there's no more um, berries and stuff you can forage. I'm not really going to send you out to hunt, I don't think there's really much point in that. So what I am going to do, um, I'm actually going to put you as a stonemason at level 2, I think. Given that Alice, where's Alice? You are uh, you level 3, so actually no, we're not going to do that, we're going to put you, put you into herding temporarily. Um, Constance is out of things to do, so... What can you do, Constance? We can put you into farming, I think. And we can put down another farm, just to get our production up as much as we possibly can. So just see if we can squeeze in here somewhere. I don't want to spread them out too much. Five by five, there we go, switch one in there. So we've got a fair few farms there, which is good. And we'll have another farm. So we've got four farmers, could be a little bit of an overkill. Uh, maybe we don't need that many, but I'm sort of still want us to, our food production isn't really coming up as much as I would like. And given that we don't really have any other, um, given that we don't really have any other like berries and stuff, um, it's probably our only be like the best way to actually get some stuff. So we can see here we've got um, Henry. He's actually got some food and also some feathers and stuff, which is cool. So that is awesome. So we're getting some food and feathers from our chickens. And he actually we actually did queue up some chickens to be domesticated. So he should go off and actually collect those. So we have a few more chickens in here, which would be good. So a bit more food and that kind of stuff, which would be fantastic. Um, so looks like our wall is pretty much done, so which is good. Um, and there we go, last little block is coming in, which is awesome. So we can queue up the next level of blocks there for our walls, our castle brick walls. Just going to queue up um, these into there like that, and then to there, and then along there, and then all the way along. Um, actually, a bit of a gap there. Actually, no, what am I going to do? I'm actually going to put a bit of a gap there and then build along here. So build there like that and then up there and then along there like that. There we go. I'm going to have a bit of a gap here. I'm actually going to get rid of a few of those blocks there. I should have thought about this a little bit earlier. So I'm going to say dig mine, get rid of probably just three blocks wide there. And let's be our entrance into that area there, obviously, because given the door there, doors there, it makes sense. Alright, we have a new migrant, which is awesome. So that is really, really good. Good to have more people in. We get uh, some, some production stuff coming in. So we've got Amisha, level 3 miner. So you've got level 3 engineering, level 3 mining, um, level 3 carpentry, level 2 trader. So nothing too amazing in terms of the skills there. They, they have brought a solid pick, um, 4 coal and 2 food. So more than happy to have you join our settlement, which is good. Um, and Amisha should go and actually get rid of these few things there. So waiting on our brick production to come in, because we actually don't have any of those... There, which is totally fine. So we can jump into Amisha's settings here. So put her on, on waiting hall while idle. And yeah, so that is pretty good. So getting some farming and stuff up and running or some extra farming, which is good. Got Ronald obviously still chilling out over here fishing. Pretty good job, I reckon, to be one of the fishermen. Level four fishermen, so that's good. So I'm probably leave you there to be a while, I'll leave you on that job for a while actually. And get that going. Do we have any enough raw ores? Um, actually don't really, I need to create one standard ingot which is a little bit disappointing but it's okay. Not the end of the world. So these ones are getting done, just going to bump up the speed a bit. The our chickens there, so we should have um, Henry, I think it was Henry, was off um, was off getting some more chickens for our little hen or our little livestock um, area there which is good. So the rest of our wall is starting to take shape which is awesome. And Amisha doesn't have a job to do. So what can we get you to do, Amisha? Um, I'm wondering whether we can actually potentially build up bricks faster, whether we by having some extra workbenches um, or anvils or something. So actually what we may do is a bit of an experiment. We should put you onto a stonemason. See if we actually need any more like anvils and benches to actually create bricks faster or whether these guys can actually sort of regulate it themselves properly. 
So it looks like, so we actually use two benches there and the anvil is going to have four people at it at once. So we actually have two people on the, the bench at once and four people around the anvil. So that should actually work out okay, I think. So hopefully that should be good to get our brick production up um, a lot quicker because we've got heaps and heaps of um, stone. So that's no problem. So it's basically sort of just about um, you know, number of people. Misha, what are you doing? Why are you not doing stuff? Why, can you, surely you can build bricks at level one. Processed um, bricks. No, level three stonemason. So actually it looks like... Can you build it, Alice? You actually can. So Misha can't. So do we have, do we have any other stonemasons we can kick up? We do. So any of these guys not do anything. So we've got Oliver. Um, he's our builder though. We've got two farmers and Henry is our herder. Um, right. So how much does Henry? Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to we're going to jump into Alicia's settings and say um, Misha and train until level three. So she'll train until she's level three, and then she can actually jump into the brick production. Henry, what can we get you to do, Henry? Um, we can, I'm thinking, actually, we may even get you into fishing um, and actually grab, create another fishing rod and actually get some more food up, up that way, potentially. Maybe we should get you into wood chopping, though. I don't think we have any wood choppers up, set up at the moment, do we? No, we don't. Um, 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 um. Interesting. Maybe we should put you on building. No, we don't really have enough uh, materials to really justify that. We can put you onto stonemason as well and tell you to train. Just have a few more stonemasons um, if we need them, if and when we need them. Because we we've got a fair bit of downtime for our builder here, so we get it sort of want to basically get our brick production up as much as we possibly can. Lots of chickens in here, which is good, so we should be able to get fair fed with food and feathers and all that kind of stuff from them, which is really, really good. So Misha's up to a level two stonemason, which is good. So once she's level three, well, she should jump into stone production here. A little bit of a um, delay here. So I'm actually tempted to build another workbench. So we're going to build up another workbench. She's going to build, um, so we've got a gap there, so that should be fine there. So we can build up one of there. And it's not going to affect the use of the anvil there, so it works out well. So we need a level one stonemason, so someone should come along and build that fairly quickly. There we go, that's good. So we see some of our wall um, coming up here, which is good. So it's going to get a little bit of a wall set up, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And another migrant. Awesome, so that's good. So obviously we've got quite a bit of food and we're getting some migrants coming in, which is really, really good. So what are you? You're um, three, level three fisherman, herder, um, blacksmith and carpenter, and also level two archer, builder, uh, trader, forager and wood chopper. And you're also bringing in two food, one hammer, two stone and four dirt. You are a quick learner though, which is interesting. So what is going to be the best use for you? Bob Marley. Oh, love it. What an awesome name, Bob Marley. Um, and all right, just get rid of that message and jump into you. Say wait, wait in whole while idle. And what can we actually get you? What's the best thing that we can get you to do? Can we get you to do any blacksmithing? So what level are you in blacksmithing? So you're almost up to level four. Mm, not really. We do have a level four blacksmith in Oliver. Fishing? I think mean, we actually can get you into fishing. Could get you into building, but we don't really have enough um, brick production to really justify it yet. So I actually can get you into fishing and get you get some more um, food in. I'm going to need to create another fishing rod though. So we're going to do that right now. Fishing rod, queue up one of those. Going to switch someone over to a carpenter, probably Jonathan. Um, what about these guys? Anyway, I actually switch Henry to a carpenter temporarily. He can build the fishing rod, and then we'll get, um, then we'll get the um, get switching back to stonemason to train that up as well. So it shouldn't take too long to build the fishing rod. Um, there we go. There we go. So he's building that now, which is good. And yeah, so we've got two fishermen now, which is good. And you're a level, what were you, three? Two. Level three fishermen, so that's pretty good. So, And switch Jonathan or Henry back to Stonemason to train up his skills there. And Misha, how are you going? You're not too far away from level three. So once you're level three, you should jump into brick production and get that up and running really quickly, which is awesome. Merchant arrived at our settlement. There's nothing that we can really sell at the moment, I don't think. So actually you're coming from the north actually, which is good. So we know that that road works, which is good. So you're coming down from there and you're coming to our hole over here at some stage. Henry's now level three stonemason. So he should jump into production of things into um, stone now. Yeah, got bricks there, which is good. So. so we should have a fair few bricks come up fairly quickly. So our builder shouldn't be standing around for too long. Especially once a Misha is level three, which she basically is now after this next level of training, she'll be level three. 
We have four level three stonemasons, or four um, stonemasons we can actually get work on bricks, which is good. Storage, how are we going? Tools is fine, food's okay, masonry's fine as well, so that's not worried about that, so that's good. So building is quite quick um, if you've got the material. So basically the hold up that we've got is, and Amisha is now level three. So we've got four people that we should be able to start building bricks now, which is good. So our brick production should be more than fine to um, get this area done really, really quickly. So obviously you need like quite a lot of materials to actually build these walls and these bricks and all this, and these castle walls. Um, so we're going to do that. Alrighty, so what are we going to do? Everything's going pretty well. So we've got four farmers, two fishermen. We've got, do we have any woodcutters? Don't think we do. No, we don't. We don't need any. So everyone's pretty much either on food or um, on building, basically, or building materials and all that kind of stuff, so that's good. Only on day nine now, which is not really a whole lot considering, so I think we've done fairly well. So what are you doing? You're waiting, aren't you? Yeah, so I don't think there's, I don't think there's really too much of a hold up here, which is okay. What on earth are you doing there? Crafting a stone hammer. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, so I don't really think there's a hold up here. So I'm going to switch someone over to be a trader. Anybody, so I should probably switch Henry over to be a trader. See if we can sell some stuff potentially, get some money. Um, buy 11 animal hides for 5 coins. I'm actually going to take that. I think it's a pretty decent trade. Hopefully we can buy, buy 28 coal for 2 coins. Definitely not. Um, don't really have enough coal to justify that, so we're not going to do that. Willing to buy 81 flax for one coin? Definitely not. I'd rather keep our flax. Keep our flax to use for our own purposes. Sell so two cottons for four coins. Um, two, co two cotton isn't a whole lot. I'm actually going to take that and actually set up a cotton farm though. So we can get some better like cloth production coming up later on. So I don't think we can build coming off flat services. Yeah, it's going to be on a flat. Um, so I'm just going to build up another one. I don't really want to build one there because I think I'm going to actually build a wall around here. So I don't really want to build out any further. I'm going to actually build rather like around this way. So let's have another 5x5 five five cotton farm there. Two scrap metal for two coins. How many coins do we have? Not a whole lot, I don't think. I've got two left. Um, yeah, we'll take it because that's one standard ingot that we can create. So might as well do that while we're here. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm actually switch you off that because I don't think you can do anything more. So I don't have any, don't have any more coins, um, and so we can't buy anything, and they don't, they really want to buy anything off us. So that's cool. Alrighty, so the rest of our castle, our, our you know, little keep wall, our mini keep is getting up here. Alice Wilson now level five stone maces, which is good. Looks like our brick production is coming up really well, um, which is awesome. So that is really, really pleasing. So you got an extra fishing rod there, which is cool. So these guys are chilling out fishing. So getting a fair bit of food, which is good, um, which is awesome. So the more food we have, the more migrants we have. The more migrants we have, the more things that we can actually do. The more quicker we can actually expand our settlement. So Jonathan's now level 14 stonemason, so he's a bit of a beast in terms of the stone masonry. So it's probably something I should have actually done. And like in hindsight, obviously these are like a, you know, I haven't played this game a great amount, but obviously in hindsight, I probably actually should have ramped up our food production a lot earlier. Uh, maybe even expanded our farms and gotten more people into farming and you know because like, like, like I just mentioned the more people you have like the more that you can do the more people we have the more actually sort of you know the more industry and stuff you can actually get and the more quick you can build things and all that kind of stuff so maybe I should have done that a little bit quicker but that's okay lesson learnt there I think we've actually pretty much nearly built this thing we actually have finished that one which is awesome so we we'll should continue with the next level of our building and we're going to build, um, where are we? We're going to build, not there. Walls, castle, brick walls here. We're going to build another level, a third level. All along here. And we will even out these ones once we get up to like the desired level. But for now, we're just going to keep building sort of the same standard levels around here. Oops. There we go. I think level three, they can still reach it from the ground. And I think the next one after that, we'll have to build a little stairway. I think what we're going to do is build like a little stairway um, just in this corner over here somewhere. Imagine maybe in both corners, given that if we actually got like, yeah, maybe in both corners, we'll build like a little stairway coming out this way. And that'll give us access to the walls. Um, yeah, so you can actually see now that actually these are actually coming up as proper walls. They actually like, the, you know, they've got the top bits and then like, you know, it looks like proper walls, which is really cool. So that is good, good way to... Good way to um, to build there like that. Oops, what happened there? 
Alrighty guys, everything's going pretty well. So some of our stonemasons, look like there's a little bit of a hold up, hold up, but I don't think too much of one, so I'm not really too worried about that. Bob Marley is now a level 4, four fisherman. Love that name, that's brilliant. Um, good old Bob Marley. Allison's now level 14 farmer, so, yep. So as you can see, we're getting some really quite skilled people, which is really, really good, so. Got a few infantry people as well, so look, two level 4s and two level 3s and a level 2, so. I think once we've built this keep, keep, we may actually sort of jump into some. We actually really need a level 5 blacksmith though, which is Oliver. And he's our builder, so... Mm, really need a level 5 blacksmith so we can get some short swords going. I suppose there's no real reason we can't sort of keep training though our, our guys in terms of infantry skills, so... Anyway, that's fine. I'm just going to focus on the wall for now, which is coming up quite quickly, which is awesome, so... Is really, really good, so it's quite pleasing. Misha's now level 4 stonemason, so it's interesting that I think because the, the carpenters and the stonemasons, because they're sort of working constantly, and same with the farmers, um, they actually sort of tend to train up really, really quickly. It actually seems even like even the even the, the like even that the mining is actually the miners actually doing it like constantly, they actually seem to train up quicker than the, the miners. Like we've only got sort of level 9 miners, I think, which is not really amazing, you know, not huge. I only got one level 9, one level 8, which is not amazing given how much we've actually dug out. Dug out a fair bit of there, like a fair bit of blocks we've actually dug out there, so not really sure if there's um, sort of different speeds in terms of different professions. I assume there probably would be. How are we going over here? Is Maze now level 11 farm, which is good. Bob Marley got a bunch of food there, which is awesome. He's going to come back and drop that off, which is nice. Um, Ronald is also level four, and he's got a fair bit of food as well there, so that's good. Which is good. So, like we said, our castle wall is coming up fairly quickly, which is good. So, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff there. I think we're probably going up to maybe a level four, or maybe even a level five wall. Um, I'm not really sure what's the ideal in terms of castle height walls. I don't really know. I um, guess we'll see later on once we get some monsters in here. I assume like none of them... I'm not sure if any of them can actually climb walls. I'm thinking maybe... Because I know there's spiders in the game. Maybe spiders can climb walls. Maybe that makes a bit of sense. I'm not assuming like things like goblins and stuff obviously can't, so... I'm not sure, really sure like in terms of if you, like whether you get like really high things that actually can sort of, you know, hit your guys on the top. I'm not really quite sure. So you may even run up to a level... So this is level 3. I think we could probably just stick with the level 4 for the moment. Um, and if we need to change that later on, we can. But yeah, for the moment, we'll go with level 4. Alrighty, what else do we do? There's any more sheep around, uh, chickens around that we can capture? I don't think so. There's a sheep over there. I don't really need sheepies. Um, no, not that I can see. It's okay. We don't really need any at the moment. I think what we're going to do in preparation, we're actually going to, going to create a um, a, um, a, a stairway. I'm actually thinking, I'm actually going to create a temporary stairway here, just because it's better, going to be quicker, because obviously he has to come back here to get materials, um, and if it means if the stairway is all the way over here, it's going to come back here, come all the way around into the entrance, up the stairs, do the thing, and then come away all, all, the, way, all the way back around. And it's going to slow things down a lot, so I'm going to make a temporary stairway here. Um, I'm going to do... Walls, we shouldn't use field stone. Actually, no, we shouldn't use um, dirt. There's no real reason not to use anything else apart from dirt. So, we're just going to create one just here. So, we're going to create one, probably three out there. Um, we'll say four up, three, and then two. There we go. So, that'll be the, the little temporary stairway once we get up to the next level of our walls. We're actually almost there, actually, which is good. So, it's been built quite quickly. Got actually excess bricks now, which is good. Um, Alice Wilson's now level six stone mason, which is good. Storage of food is um, nearly out, so we're going to um, build up a few more food crates. So we're just going to leave a bit of a gap in between them and build up some more food crates there, two more. They need to be built by carpenters, so we're going to switch one of our stonemasons over to carpentry quickly. Um, probably not Jonathan, what about... Probably Henry once he's finished with the bricks there. Cool, so switch you over to be a carpenter quickly to build those up and then we'll switch you back again. So this bit of our portion of our wall is almost done, which is good. So Henry's almost done there, and Oliver's now in level 8 builder, which is good. And another migrant, and we actually have a level 5 builder, so that's not too bad. So actually what I think we may do, 
May switch Ralph onto our building and then switch Oliver over to blacksmithing, hopefully get him out to a level 5 blacksmith. Um, he's only brought four raw, four raw wood, um, Ralph has, so he's not really much of a dude. He's mainly a builder, hasn't really got much any other skills, so that's okay. Um, so where's Ralph? There's Ralph. So Ralph is going to wait in hall while I do. We're going to switch you, leave you as a builder. And we're actually going to grab Oliver, put you over to blacksmithing. See if we can create any more oops, any more standard ingots. Um, we can't with oh, so we can one with copper and one scrap metal. So that's gonna be another two there. And once those done, so he's about halfway through and up to level five. So hopefully we can get hopefully we can get Oliver up to level five, which would be awesome. Henry, Henry's a carpenter. Switch you back to stonemasonry. Um, Ralph is just sitting there. So we're gonna put up the next level of our walls our castle walls and this is going to be the last level we build here for the moment so we're going to do this and I think we're going to build this up like that and to there like this all the way along there and once these are built I think I'm probably going to even out these bits um, on these side bits here so actually make these as we do it now actually while we're here make them like that um, and maybe even build this one up here just so it's sort of even all around just to really look a little bit better, so we can just do that along to there and then build this one up to there, like that. There we go. So it's gonna be even so because we actually are gonna be able to like make a double length, double width. So that means our guys can actually walk around on the walls, which means if we ever get attacked by something really big or like a big force, we can actually sort of put our guys out there with a few arches and stuff and actually sort of shoot down from the walls. So that's the reason we're gonna do that. So we've got Ralph there building, which is good. So another sort of guy coming in, and yeah, so that works out really well. So having that sort of that stairway up there uh, means you can actually get up there really quickly and build up all that kind of stuff so that's good a little bit of a keep coming up there which is nice we'll sort of look at building a approach like a gate or something there at some stage what we've got here we've got oliver is our blacksmith and you've finished on those things so how are you going to in terms of skills so you're still only halfway through so how many how many um ingots have we got we've got 14 and like i think all we can build actually unfortunately all we can build um, with our ingots at the moment is pretty much knives. So you can't build short swords because we need level five. Clubs don't need don't use blacksmiths. So there's nothing we can actually really train on. So we and we can't actually build um, any like solid items here because they all end up level sixes. Can't build torches, shears. Uh, that shears need blacksmiths, I guess. Maybe we should build a shears um, one level. Well, we should build one shears and then build a few knives. Build another probably three, four, five knives. There we go. So it is a little bit of a waste of in terms of ingots, um, but it, or I'm really sort of keen to get a level five blacksmith after, so I think it's worth it. So hopefully by the time that they're all that all those are done, Oliver is now a level Oliver will be a level five blacksmith. See our walls coming up here, which is good. Two fishermen chilling out over there. Um, food on our food trough is totally fine still. So the animals aren't going to starve, which is awesome. Henry's now level five stonemasons, that's good. So we got a fair few stonemasons, which is really, really good. So lots of stonemasons done. So we can get our brick brick production really good. So especially once we get into building like some big castles later on down the track, um, it'd be really good to have like a lot of good stonemasons. We can actually switch over to get into our brick, brick production and get that you know, brick production up going up really, really quickly, which is good. Merchant has arrived at our settlement, which is interesting. I'm going to run through and see if there's anything we can sell. I'm thinking probably not. I've already seen if we can sell those. Uh, what about some wheat and stuff? About some flax? So we, just, we actually got a fair bit of wheat and flax, so we could actually sell some of that. Don't really want to sell any of our ore, because we're going to use that later on. Process materials, don't really have anything that we want to sell. Don't really want to sell any twine or ingots. Um, tools, we don't really have anything that we can want to sell there either. I suppose, could, I suppose we could actually sell. See, see how much they would actually give us for some of these. Because if they, if we get some decent money for them, like they're easy and easy to make, they actually take basically no goods. So if we actually could sell some of those and get some money for them, I actually would probably actually do those. So merchant is coming in slowly.
Um, we're going to need another level of stairs here, I think. Oh no, you can get down to that one, so because I suppose it's one level up, isn't it? It's like another extra level of stairs there. So, oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, good. Um, a lot of our trees are actually growing back in as well, which is cool. So it's not quite so bare around our settlement, which is good. Jonathan's now level 15 stonemason. What an absolute tank. Stonemason extraordinaire. So we actually see our um, walls coming up really, really quickly here, which is awesome. So that's quite cool. Pretty decent little keep coming on there. She's nice. How are we going for storage? What's the problem there? Food. Another food storage problem. Actually, 552 food. So it looks like our food is actually really jumping up really, really quickly. Which is actually quite a good thing. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm happy to keep building um, food storage. What about food barrels? What do they need? They need one ingot. Um, but actually, I don't want to really waste our ingots. So I'm just going to keep building food crates. More than happy to do that. Uh, build one there. Build another food crate there. There we go. So that's a bunch more storage. Switch one of our guys over to probably a Misha into a carpentry. Get those built and then switch her back to stone masonry. Um, yeah, good, good, good. Merchant's always almost there, so I'll probably switch once. Probably actually, where's Henry? Henry was our decent trader, wasn't he? There's Henry there. So once Henry's, she going to switch Henry back over to a trader now. So level four trader. So he's actually built up his skill quite quickly, which is good. And Misha, you've actually built all those, haven't you? So what are you actually building now? I'm willing to buy seven animal hides for three coins. I'm going to take that. You're building up some timber, aren't you? So let me leave you to do that. Might as well. Storage tools. Tool storage is actually down. Willing to buy four knives for four coins. Um, what are knives? What actually? I think they're just tools, aren't they? Yeah, so you need knives to um, like slaughter animals. We've got seven of them, so I'm actually going to say yes. I don't really need them. Two stone hoes for one coin. Um, may as well. I don't really see the point in keeping them. Jonathan Oliver. What's Oliver doing? You're a blacksmith. You're still not level five. Oh, you're so close though. Um, how many ingots do we have? Do we can actually get you to create some more stuff? We've got six more. So we can actually create some more t um, knives actually. Just one more, see if that's enough. There we go. Get out of there. Um, what's Misha doing? You're still um, five copper ore for. Are uh, willing to sell five copper ore for five coins? We're just going to take that because it means we can create some more ingots. Ingots are the name of the game at the moment. Can't afford to purchase the standard ingots. Yeah, that's okay. Didn't really expect that. Um. So you're done, Amisha, so we switch you back to stonemasonry. And that's done, and switch Henry back to stonemasonry as well, so that's good. Well, heaps and heaps of food, which is awesome, so I wish we get some a few more migrants in at some stage. Lots of farms there, it's probably good having four farmers, I don't think there's probably any reason to get rid of those. Good if we wanted to, could switch them back to three, but that's working. <laughs> oh my god, what on earth, sheep up on our wall. Crazy, crazy sheep. Get off the wall, you feral. There we go. So most of our wall is actually nearly done, which is good. So Oliver's now level 5 blacksmith. Awesome! So we actually get him to actually start building some short swords. And Alice Wilson is now level stone, um, level 7 stonemason. Most of our wall is actually nearly done, so that'll be actually done fairly quickly. Which is good. So where's Oliver? You're there, Oliver. So I actually can get you... How much ingots have we got now? We've got five, and how many do we need to create a short sword? We need two. So I actually create two short swords, which is really, really good. So... Create two short swords, put them on our best fighters, and they'll have a bunch of extra, um, sort of, you know, a bunch of extra offensive capacity or ability. So that would be really good. How's our fisherman going? So level four and level four, almost level five. So that's good. Our wall is almost finished, which is good, and we even start on the second level wall. You may as well, may as well get that up and running. Because I've actually, I know we've got a bit of a gap there, so that's okay. We actually, so I was thinking we may have to fill in this little area here, but we won't have to. That should be okay. So that is good. Um, stone production is, or stone levels are coming down a fair bit. It's only 400. I think we're up to like 32 or something, weren't we, at some stage? So definitely coming down, but that's okay. Not worried about that. There's heaps of it obviously left, so that's cool. Now we're going for storage tools. Um, tools is okay. Ronald's now level 5 fisherman, which is good. 29 and a half minutes of the episode, guys, so we may end up running. Um, we'll probably pause, put a pause in the video, cutting the episode here quite soon. You can see our roads actually starting to be set up. You can actually see some sort of these roads coming through the 
Can we show the wilderness, which is cool? Um, wall almost done. I think we'll probably run the episode until the wall is finished. And once the wall's done, we'll actually jump into the next. I'll we'll put a cut in and jump into it next episode. Lots and lots of food, which is cool. Good, good, good. How many coins have we got? Uh, three, so not a whole lot. That's okay. Dum dum dum. So Oliver is finished with the short swords. We should have two short swords. Are one there? Why can't we build the second one? Oh, did I not queue up with another one? I must have. Must have done. Uh, yeah, we do have. We can actually build another one. So there we go. Build another one. There we go. Cool. 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 So it could be a little bit of an overkill to do it, like have a wall such as high, you know, as high as this. We don't really need it to be that high, but it looks cool. So that's all that I'm really worried about. So day ten, which is good. So doing pretty well. How many people we've got at the moment? Twelve. We actually got twelve settlers, so that's quite cool. So quite good there. Two more spots to go on our wall, and then we'll put a cut in the episode. And Misha's now level 6 stonemason, so that's pretty good. Alrighty guys, the first level of our wall is done. Next um, episode we'll come in and probably start building the second level of wall. Um, and yeah, see how we go. So that should be quite a lot of fun. I'm actually thinking may even, actually before we even do that, um, we may look at putting a gate in if we can. I'm not sure we've got the expertise to do that yet. We may do that uh, if we can though. We may actually look at putting a, a sort of a, just a small perimeter wall around the outside of our interest, around the outside of our thing. Just because we're getting a fair way into the thing, getting some more settlers, getting a little bit more rich, starting to build some, you know, some better quality items, which means I sh uh, the invasion mechanic is going to start looking at us and thinking that you know, they can actually send some better stuff into attackers. So probably some more regular goblins and stuff. We haven't really had any goblins in, so um, especially sort of around our last dock area, it would be a good thing to actually sort of get a bit of a wall around here. So I think you may actually do that. May embark on a bit of a big wall building project. We've actually got, we actually, because we we'll probably only just use a field stone wall. So if you can jump in here, construction to walls, probably just use some field stone, which is actually just uses raw stone. Um, so actually it means that we can actually, um, or maybe even great stone, I'm not really sure. Um, actually means that we can actually take a few of our guys off stone mason, probably three of them. So we actually probably end up having four builders working at once, which means the wall should actually get built really, really quickly. Anyway, for now, we're going to put a cut in the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you enjoyed this series. Um, any suggestions or feedbacks, um, let me know what you think of the game, all that kind of stuff. I'm more than happy to hear your comments. I um, always enjoy people reading um, comments that people make on the videos. So that is really cool. Alrighty, um, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the, the video, as, uh, subscribe to the channel, sorry, and like the video, that would be amazing. And also, I hope you've had a wonderful day, and I'll see you all for the next episode.